do it. What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to our channel, guys. I'm Rod. I'm here with my dad. Rod Sr. And we are Bridging, Bridging the, the gap. gap. Yes, sir. The boys is back with another fire reaction video for you. If you enjoyed this reaction video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what we should react to next. Uh, turn on your post notification button so that you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And if you like our videos, but you want to see the uncut, unedited versions, then check out our Patreon. Link is down in the description. Uh, Dad, I think we are officially in the beehive. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, me too. I, it's a it, it's nice, an honor. It's a nice community to be that a part of. That is an honor, man, <laughs> to be part of the beehive. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah. So shout out to all the fellow beehive members because we are members now. I think and, uh, I think still, though, you, you talked about beehives and we was talking about Taylor Swift. Uh -huh. I'm just, I, I think you should make you a comedy YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they comment about the the dancing. Yeah. Well, we don't want to. We don't want. I'm still laughing about that. We don't want to be blocked out of being Swifties. But maybe, <laughs> maybe one day we'll be a be a Swiftie. <laughs> no, see, I like that. I told you though. I, I said when you mentioned, it, I said I like that. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. It's just a different type. It's of, a different you know, vibe. It's yeah, a different yeah, yeah. vibe. Uh, but yeah, shout out to all the Beyonce fans that checked out our last video. Uh, we've got a great response from it. We really Definitely. appreciate you guys and all the nice things you've said uh, to us about that video and the album and all that stuff. We've been really enjoying the album quite a bit. And uh, you guys have spoken, so we will listen. You want us to listen to Re Renaissance by Beyonce, and we going to do that for sure. How do yes, you feel sir. about that, Dad? I'm excited, man, because, um, I, you know... Two albums. I'm two albums into Beyonce now, mm -hmm. and I liked them both. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit, now we get ready to do Re Renaissance. Yeah. And I was like, yes, was good, yes. Man. I'm becoming a fan. Me too. I'm super excited about this. And a, uh, I did read a couple comments that was like, uh, basically, Beyonce was so, supposed to release Re Renaissance second. Renaissance was supposed to be the act two, mm -hmm. and Cowboy Carter was supposed to be act one. Oh, really? So I don't know. Act I just, one? I saw that comment mm. i don't know like how true that is but mm. i guess we're listening to it in the the correct order honestly if, if that's the case <laughs> that's the case right yeah. okay uh, but yeah we'll get right into this album renaissance this was released uh back in 2022 um so uh this particular title of the album renaissance uh that's some type of of theme i'm assuming so uh we'll, what is Renaissance supposed to be saying to us? Or are we supposed to listen to it and then yeah, I think we're gonna find interpret that out. It, what it's going to say to us? I think we're going to find that out. But I mean, honestly, from the the mm -hmm. theme of the the Cowboy Carter album, just kind of being genre breaking and, mm -hmm. and breaking down the barriers of genre, I think that's pretty much what she's doing on Renaissance as well. Because mm -hmm. uh, this, I know that this is a, a dance-themed. Uh, this uh, Renaissance is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so it is her seventh studio album released July 29, 2022. Uh, and yeah, she hadn't released anything since Lemonade, which back in 2016, ladies drop some comments. If you want us to check out Lemonade, I did see some comments. Yeah. I'm sure they were speaking. They want to talk about Lemonade. Yeah. Lemonade so. is crazy. I feel like if we do Lemonade, we're going to have to do Lemonade 444 and then the Carters. Because Lemonade is Beyonce's album, 444 is Jay-Z's album, and then The Carters is their collaboration album that they did after those. Beyonce, Beyonce and Jay-Z did an album together? Yeah. Whose album is it, though? Theirs. Oh, it's theirs. It's the no Carters. particular. Okay, they, they own it together. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. Sure. So, their group and, name is The Carters. And so 444 is Jay-Z. Jay uh-huh. But she's featuring on all his albums? I mean, is she? No. Collaborating? No. It's Beyonce just Beyonce album is Lemonade. Jay Z is 40, 44, and then they did a, a collaboration. collaboration. Okay, got you. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll get into that later. Today is all about Renaissance. Uh, the first track is titled "I'm That Girl." It's produced by Beyonce and Kelman Duran. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. All right. It'd be interesting to see what kind of producers she is in this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You're already making a statement. Okay. I pull up in these clothes, look so good. Cause I'm in there. I'm dead. Ass. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. It's not the time. <laughs> She's got that whole repeat in the background. Now stop in me. Yeah. Now stop in me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She balls. Yes, sir. Cause <laughs> my sins. My un American life. Her un American life. <laughs> okay. This a rem- Okay. That is track number one. I'm that girl. What do you think about that, Dad? It's, it's just like you said. She started out making a statement. Yeah. She says, I'm that girl. I, just because I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. I ain't no punk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, let's not get that twisted. Don't play yeah, with me. Because she would throw down on your tail. Yeah. You know what I mean? She, 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 she's flexing tough. Big you know, time. Girl, you know, <laughs> do something. Say something. <laughs> Y'all ain't stopping me, you know. Good song, and the thing about what I, the reason why I was looking forward to this album mm-hmm. is uh, mainly uh, because her production is n- nothing I've heard from her. The production has always been so fire. Her production, and I look forward her to that. Team, the people that she works with to craft these songs, it's just top tier. <sighs> you the know, sounds, you get. I mean, immediately it just comes in. It's got this. Cool bass line, and you got that, that sample in the back. These motherfuckers not stopping. Yeah, and it's running through the whole song yeah. as she's singing on top of it. Right. That was sweet, man. <laughs> I, I enjoyed that, man. That was. A, I mean, that's that's very creative. Very. Yeah, it was just different as usual with Beyonce. She's, you know, you never know what she's gonna give you. Yeah, I love uh, it's like a box of chocolates. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm that girl. I'm just that girl. I'm not my. It's not my man. It's not my stance. Like no, nah, it's it's me. I'm really her. Like right. You you can take all of this stuff away. Right. I am that girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's and right. now I kind of understand the captions these girls be making. Oh God, Man, see where they be getting some of these some of those some of that, yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. quote quoting Beyonce <laughs> okay they gonna say, this. next thing you gonna know you gonna have a they gonna somebody's gonna write a book with Beyonce quotes in uh, it for all the girls uh, to read you just gotta go on Instagram <laughs> and look at their captions they're all there God, uh, <laughs> all right cool that was fire let's go ahead and move it to the next track uh this is titled cozy and this is produced by Beyonce, Luke Solomon, Honey Dijon, and Chris Penny. Okay. This a reminder. Uh-oh. Yeah. E. Damn, I love the burning of the dagger from the words that you say. I like that rhythm right there. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Been down, been up, been broke, broke down, bounce back. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 too cozy what a vibe man. what a vibe that was that was a cool song <laughs> i feel like you sitting out like somewhere and like you know vibing in a club or something they just throw that on while yeah. everybody's chilling out and stuff you what's know and like, everybody be like, yeah you sitting there <laughs> with your drink you know whatever sure. but uh you know what this kind of reminded me of the, 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 the driving beat uh-huh. it reminded me of an old song a long time ago uh uh britney spears it had that uh, uh kind of Jungle kind of beat feel, uh, slave. Okay. You know, okay. It, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Only better. Yeah. Only this was better. I'm... <laughs> Much better. But it, gave, it it had that little jungle kind of beat kind of feel. You know. Yeah. To definitely me, had know? that. Yeah. That tribal jungle kind of feel. Yeah, it was yeah. vibing, man. Right. And, uh, yeah. That, it just it reminded me of like yeah. This is like deep house. Like yeah. A little dark. Little. <laughs> Club that you had to walk down two stories to get at. Right. It was like a little red light there on. There you go. You're right. right. <laughs> and you open that door and it's just, it's just bumping. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I'm talking about. That was cool. And her, uh, all her super uplifting, uh, confidence oh. inducing lyrics that are one just bar, fantastic. I think we both reacted yeah. to that one real because I was like, if we used to say, look at each other, both say, like, oh. Been down, been up, been broke, been down, bounced back, been off, been on. <laughs> Been back, what you know about that? Been the light, been dark, been the truth. She blew that oh, verse man. up, man. She, she killed she blew that. it up, man. Uh, but yeah, this whole song is just super empowering and, and uh, full of confidence. And she's just, yeah, she's swaggy. She's going crazy. This is great. Yeah, she know how to read the room. Yeah, for <laughs> she sure. know all of them haters. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> jealous. Yeah. Facts. I'm and, her though. And you she's know? comfortable in her skin. Yeah. She, you can't, you can't tell her nothing. That's right. I love that. All right, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number three. It's titled "Alien Superstar." This is produced by Luke Solomon, Honey Dijon, Chris Penny, Beyonce, Mike Dean. Oh, the Dream and Nova Wave. Okay. Bad. All right. Uh, Alien Superstar. Here we go. Alien. Please Superstar. do not be alarmed. Remain calm. Okay. Do not attempt to leave the dance floor. I already started out good. The DJ yeah. booth is conducting a tr- tr- troubleshoot test of the entire system. Yeah. Oh. I'm oh. one of one. I'm number one. I'm the only one. Don't even waste your time trying to compete with me. Don't no one yeah. else in this world can think like me. I'm twisted. I'll come. Baby, I'm oh, like too that. classy to be touched. I beat them all in the house. Hey, it's kind of reminds me of that song, I'm Too Sexy for Myself. Oh, yeah. 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 You see, it's interrelated that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think like I'm so obscure. Masterpiece oh. genius. Drip intravenous. Yeah. Drip intravenous. <laughs> As a bar. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 
take off again. Hey. Can you see pleasure in my glare? Look over my shoulder and you ain't scared. The yeah. effect you have on me when you stare. Head on a pillow, hike it in the air. Ow. <laughs> hey. I really like this break part, this chorus part. Yeah, it's nice. I like the vision right here. Yeah. That's what Love that are. nasty beat. Lingerie boy. reflecting off the mirror on the bar. Category sexy bitch. I'm the bar. Alien superstar. <laughs> Hey. We dress a certain way, we walk a certain way, we talk a certain way. We, 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 we. Oh, that's right. <laughs> point. You got a point. <laughs> All right, that is track number three, Alien Superstar. What did you think about that one, Dad? That was a good ride, man. That was like, you know, she took you on a journey right there. Yeah. Was excitement, you know. It's... <laughs> I loved it. I I loved it. I I thought I I I thought that song was okay. You did? Yeah. I noticed I think that I think that this is a fan favorite from this album. Mm -hmm. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I, I I like the uh I like the breakdown at the end. I really like the the instrumental around the chorus. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one would grow on me. I did like she was talking a lot of shit though. Damn, that's what I was. She was talking a lot of shit. Right she here. talked, man. She she has she started talking shit from the beginning of the fact. album. She hasn't stopped. No, yet. she has not stopped that. That's a fact. Uh, man, <laughs> I enjoyed it. I, I, I mean, there was one point of the song. I mean, th there was one point of the song that kind of was like I was expecting something else to happen that didn't happen. Yeah, that build up. And yeah, I thought it was going to be yeah. like a, a dance drop, but it didn't. I, right, I know exactly right. what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, and sure. then, so, like, I heard a siren, like, you know, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, okay, the siren's coming in, and then it's going to be a yeah, drop. I thought that was going to happen, too. And it did. She's just like, psyched. Yeah. But it was still a cool vibe. It still it had cool. a driving beat to it, yeah, though. Yeah, so yeah. I, was, I was cool with that. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. All right. Cool. We'll go ahead and move into the next one. Uh, this is track number four. It's titled Cuff It. And, uh... Oh, Lord. Cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is getting ready to be a freaky song. <laughs> you know, Beyonce a freak, man. For real. Straight up. She's like the biggest freak on the planet. Yeah, she's so getting in her bag. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I love to hear it. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? All right? You, you're a real fine chick sitting talking freaky like yeah, that. You're like, oh, right, oh. Right. Run that yeah, back. Right. I was, I'm scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Just try number four, Cuff It, uh, produced by Beyonce, Nova Wave, Raphael Sadiq, Morton Rissy, Ristrup, and The Dream. Okay. Track number four, Cuff It. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. That's got an old school sound beat to it. Yeah, I like this go. Yeah. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. Oh, okay. I wanna go Energetic when we fuck up the night. What you gonna do? With them horns. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I like a little background singing. <laughs> Clean it up then. I need a prescription. Strings. Gonna sit on top of you. Oh my goodness. Woo. 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 Horns chirping at you too. Yeah. Yeah. 
Track number four, Cuff It. What do you think about that one, Dad? Oh, man. That's it. it was different from what I thought it was going to be, but she talking smack. I noticed that. I'm just saying. Every song, every album I've heard, she's talking about she's on top. <laughs> she does represent quite a bit. That's her favorite. She loves it there. <laughs> Facts. Shout out to her. Right, right, right. <laughs> Queen Bay Salute <laughs> I'm just saying man Oh my god uh, that, that was just Bags. an observation an Excellent observation father I, I agree <laughs> That was a killer song, though, man. It was so much going on with that song, and them, them horns was chirping at you. And that bass. Boom, boom, boom. And that one part near the close when you, she was closing it out. Where she was back just, of the truck up. Oh, dude. Yep. Man. Shout out to Beyonce. That's a banger. Uh, that's the one Let's song I, I am pretty familiar with. I think there's a, one more song that I've, I've heard. You've heard on it? Yeah. Okay. But Cuff It is an absolute banger. That's yes, such a indeed. good song. There's actually a remix. Fuck it. They got a remix for the Beehive. We gonna do it for the Beehive. All right. They show us so much love. We gotta, yeah, we gotta do yeah. it. We gotta do the do remix it for the Beehives, for man. Here's the cuff. That's what's up. The wetter remix. Okay. Okay. Let me just explain. Wetter is a twist a song from back in the day. Okay. When Cuff It came out, the DJ, some DJ put Cuff It and mixed it with Wetter. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Baby, make it rain. Don't let go till it storms again. I pray that this will never end. My love, love, Cuff It. Don't stop. Let me love you to the reason. I feel like falling in love. That is tight. Something up. Show up, 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 that you, you, me, you got me yeah. in love. Same, same. Now that the moon don't need no one else. Whoa. Hypersonic, sexy, erotic. On Hypersonic. Boy, you got yeah. it. Got them dry legs while I'm riding. Got me acting hella thotty. So excited, so excited. Oh, I'm a seasoned professional. Squeeze it, don't let it go. Deal it, no self. I don't mind. Yeah. 
Hand you my phone. I say, oh, I gotta have that. Man, I like her voiceovers, man. Yeah. She don't like um she never really has to have any background singers. She can just do her voiceovers. Oh know? yeah, no. Like, I mean that is all yeah, all them them layers and stuff, that's her, yeah, for sure. It sounds so good. <laughs> she kills that. And then she gets into this little bag where she starts dragging her voice, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, man, man, oh man, I, oh man, that was tight. Yeah, that, that was, was tight. that was fire. The, the way that they kind of took that kind of more upbeat, dancey type song, put it yeah. on that wetter beat, and just, just slowed, slowed it down, down. <laughs> <laughs> made it even more like sexy and seductive. Mm. Yeah, no, nah, that's fire. Man, she got on it, and she, I like when she gets on those little runs where she just digs in, man, and just starts just talking. Yeah. She like it's yeah. almost like a, a a singing rap. She be rapping, yeah, yeah. Rap Beyonce is fire, man. Rap Beyonce got bars. She be going crazy. Yeah, she do. Uh, she she really does. <laughs> Cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. Back to Renaissance. Um, this is the energy track uh five featuring beam produced by beyonce skrillex uh el cress beam and nova wave i mean that's probably cool to be be beyonce because when uh ever she gets ready to drop out or do a project mm. she just pick up the phone and say hey can uh i want you on my album and they say <laughs> What time you want me? You want me to come today? Yeah. <laughs> you know, just drop everything. Yeah, take, honey, take the kids home. I'm, I'm going to the airport. <laughs> you know, Beyonce call. We gotta go. Yeah, facts. All right, here's track number five. Energy. Okay. On stage, rocking out stir crazy. Coco flow like 1980s. Come lit still, I drop lazy. No, no, that may be energy. Energy. I look reggae hey, feel. Yeah. Look around, it's me and my group. Big energy. Everybody know me. Don't stop more. Got phones, phones from Page Vogue. No pulse. Check too much. Go clip on load. That's that cold. That energy. 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 Yeah. Cause them Karens just turned into terrorists. Whoa. <laughs> All right, that is track number five, Energy featuring Beam. What do you think about that one, Dad? I didn't know what to expect, yeah. you know, on this. And so when I was looking at the producers and things, but um, uh, at first I thought, eh, it's okay, you know, because yeah. it had a kind of like a, a Caribbean or so like reggae kind of sound to mm -hmm. it. But as, as you start uh, listening to her popping off, you yeah. know, it's like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is cool. You know, so yeah, that 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 right there, yeah. you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> pop 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 pop. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, nah, she was <laughs> killing <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, nah, she was going crazy. That beat was that beat was sick to me. I, yeah. I, it was like that. Uh, I think it's uh, Brazilian funk. Now that I've heard a few Brazilian funk mm -hmm. inspired songs, because it was the, that Kanye song uh, that. Uh, one you didn't like it off, off of vultures it had that weird kind of industrial yeah sound yeah beat. but it was I'm like one of the only ones that you wasn't really feeling yeah and yeah, you know what i probably if i go back and listen to it now i probably would appreciate it better because you know what i am starting to get uh accustomed to it it's something it's like you know when you when like tasting some people say you it's acquired a, an acquired taste, taste for sure there we go <laughs> it you is know. it is and it kind of yeah it's usually these kind of weirder sounds like 
almost like pots and pans kind of stuff, but it's right. always got a really nice 808 and it's got a bounce to it. I don't know. That's, mm-hmm. that's kind of a vibe. Yeah, it is. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, track five. We'll go ahead and roll into the next track. This is track number six. It's titled Break My Soul. Oh, okay. Um, and this is uh, produced by Tricky Stewart, Beyonce, The Dream, and Isaac Swing. Excuse me. Track six, break my soul. It's like a, it's sort of like a disco feel to it. Okay. Breakdowns and switch ups, man. Mm. Oh, no, that nigga go right back in. Right, right, right. right back into the party. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey! 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 Track number six, Break My Soul. What do you think about that one, Dad? What? <laughs> she just be killing it, man. I love when she gets to talking smack, man. She's, uh, <coughs> you know how some people talk smack and you be like, oh, whatever. <laughs> she owns hers, man. Right, I mean, sure. she means she it. She means it. She, <laughs> she means it. She backs it up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sure. I love it when she does that, man. But this song was so, the beats, the breakdowns, the transitions, the the harmonies, the production, the, the singing. Uh, oh, when, what, what, what else can, I mean, what else does she not do musically on this freaking song, man? That's like, this song is such a banger. It is so good. There's like, it's got to be like one of my favorite Beyonce songs for yeah, sure. Yeah. It's just such a good vibe. The message, uh, the instrumentation. It's like a dance kind of kind of feels like kind of like an early two thousand dance mm-hmm. house kind of record, but it's got like this gospel influence to it. Then you got Big Frida, uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that the, Big Frida. The Big Frida sample yeah. just makes it hit just hard. Like <laughs> oh no, that's like uh, Big Frida is a, a figure from New Orleans in the bounce. There's a type of music in New Orleans called bounce music, right? Okay. It's like this you know thing that's specific to there you know what i mean right, it's a right. really big and she brought that uh bounce element to it 
I don't know. Just everything about the song is crazy. Well, you know, she's bringing in her heritage in there, man. She's just bringing in Louisiana yeah, Brown stuff. So yeah, like yeah, it. for sure. But, you know, um, she's a, um, I, man, I just tell you, she's just, she's, she's killed it. She killed it. I, 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 I'm just blown away. Like, when I hear a song like this, though, I, I think about, you know, like, you know, when you, when you ran a house, yeah, I've said this before. When you're down a house and yeah, you got your music on, and you 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 might be cleaning up or cleaning washing up the dick, whatever Sunday the hell, song, yeah. yeah, you jump. I mean, I'd be jumping all around the house, you know. Oh right. yeah, <laughs> you know, turn it up. For sure. Yeah, that's all. If you if you can just sit still through that song, like you're dead. Yeah, no, you, you don't have be- a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For sure. All right, we'll go ahead and roll into the next song. This is track number seven. It's titled Church Girl. Mm-hmm. And this is produced by No ID, The Dream, Beyonce, and Stuart White. No ID. He mm-hmm. didn't, he yeah. didn't call a driver's license. He didn't hit you for yeah, the what, collab, what? man. What's up with that? Yo, No ID. Driver's license. Link up. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. I'm sorry. Ooh. It'll happen one day. <laughs> All right, uh, track number seven, Church Girl. Here we go. Oh yeah, no ID for sure. Fire sample. Oh. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> She's doing the damn thing there, boy. You can be my daddy if you want to. You you can be my daddy if you want to. You can get it tatted if you want to. You you can get it tatted if you want to. But your light is in the sky. Get this motherfucker lit. She gon' shake that ass dope. in the pretty thick old bitty. So get your racks hey, up. Listen. Get your math up. Yeah. I'ma back it up. Back it, back it up. I'ma bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it, back it up. I see them great sweats. I see a blank check. <laughs> You know, I drop it like a thotty too, yeah, I know what you're doing. Know. You bet. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> church, church girls acting loose. <laughs> Bad girls acting snotty. Yeah. Bad girls acting rushy church girl. Don't hurt nobody. Yeah. Hey. You can get it tatted. This is another uh, New Orleans bounce. Say, uh, okay. That. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a popular New Orleans loop. They put it in a lot of their songs for the bounce songs. Okay. Pussy, 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 pussy. It must be the cash because it ain't your face. Now do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Yeah. Baby, spin it. And spin it, baby. Do it. And spin that cash a little harder. Yeah. And she might let you dive in the water. Drop it like a Dad, watch that. Good girls, I can bad church girls. Don't hurt nobody. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Don't hurt nobody. I'm trying to bring the life up in your body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that it? It was a freaking harmonic. Har- Beautiful. <laughs> All right, that's uh, track number seven, Church Girl. What do you think about that? As you heard the saying go, she bad. Yeah. <laughs> she. That was that another vibe song, man. I mean, <laughs> drop it like a thotty, drop it like a. And, and then I like that part where she said, bust it, bust it, bust it, bust yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I like. So oh man, funny. she just killed it all through this whole song, man. She does talking more smack. I love hearing her talk smack. Man. She you did know? the damn thing on yeah. there. She a little, you little, she a little thug. Yeah. <laughs> a fine thug. 
She, she a G for sure. That's a fact. She be tearing it up. I love the production on here. I love the the, the breakdowns. I love that New Orleans bounce sound mm. they put in it. Uh, yeah, she's amazing. Oh, we didn't talk about the album cover here. Uh, this is a little bit different than Cowboy Carter's album cover. But do you see some of the um, similarities? Well, of course, there's a horse. Yeah. And uh, the outfit is different, though. She doesn't have the cowboy hat on and all the red, white, and blue and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, she's barely got anything on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, that, that's the most noticeable. <laughs> but I, I, to me, I'm, I'm looking at the horse. Yeah. And the structure of the horse. You see how the, you know, they show the muscular parts of the horse and stuff. And then you look at her damn legs. She yeah. got a damn, she got legs like, like a, a damn stallion. stallion. Sure. I mean, seriously. I mean, that ass. So. She's on point. She's got, she still kept, a, you know, the real long hair. Mm -hmm. It's not flying, you know, in the air and stuff, but she's got the real long hair. And she's she just posed like, I'm that girl. I'm that girl. That's it. You know? Period. <laughs> what? 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 What could someone say? <laughs> All right, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is titled "Plastic Off the Sofa." <laughs> Plastic off the sofa. That's an interesting name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. Boy, I know you can't help but to be yourself around me, yourself around me now. Mm. And I know nobody's perfect, so I'll let you be. Sing a love song, yeah. I'll let you be. It's the way you weigh your emotions on both of your sleeves. Whoa. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Like the guitar saying, I like it too. Yeah. Outro was nice the way she switched it up. All right, yeah, that is plastic off the sofa. What do you think about she's that? She's like one? the gift that just keeps on giving. I know. 
I mean, it's just like you at some point in time when she's singing, man, I'm like, oh, I can't take no more. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so good. It's like a songbird. <laughs> right. I was just like, oh, you're killing me. That she's, was just, I that song, I, I just I love the lyrics of this song. Mm-hmm. The way she is. She gave me little tingles and yeah. chills and stuff, man. I was like, Ooh, okay. I know you can't help but to be yourself around me. Yeah. I just love that. And then she brought it back in the third verse and she expounded on that. I love that you can't help but be yourself around me. When you're tripping, I know we'll make up, make love, so I let you be. The way you listen when I'm crying, you let me lean in. It's the way you want one more kiss after you said you were leaving. <laughs> I like that. I like that part where it was kind of cute where she's talking about. I think you're cool. No, oh, even, even though, though I'm, I'm cool with cool you. you. <laughs> that was so cute. Yeah, man. Oh that man, was... I love that song. I had a great little funky vibe to mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, uh, like I said, I was like, stop, stop, you're killing me. <laughs> and uh, just a shout out to producers. That, oh, cool, Sid. Sid is uh, really dope. She used to work with uh, Odd Future and stuff. Um, Tyler, the creator. Levin Kali and Beyonce were the producers on that one. Plastic Off the Sofa, that might be one of my favorites. Yeah. I, I don't know, here. man. It's hard to pick a favorite on that because I love Cuff It. Shoot, I love Alien. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, freaking Break My Soul is crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, lots of bangers on here. This is cool. All right. We'll go ahead and roll into the next track. This is track number nine, Virgo's Groove. And this is produced by Beyonce, Levin Kali, and The Dream. Okay. We got to listen to some. Sound like it's going to be a real uh, groovy. Yeah, kind of song. Virgo's Groove. Yeah. Track number nine. Here we go. I like it already. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Another vibey song for sure. Okay. Hear that flute. Be scared. <laughs> you a wild one now. <laughs> Bite down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Motorboat. <laughs> hey, you gotta keep saying it. Yeah, you gotta ask me twice. <laughs> Let's 
Dude, you better do some push ups and shit. Yeah, get your blood pumping. <laughs> <laughs> So many layers to yeah, this song, man. Sure. Your love keeps me high. Your love keeps me alive. Yeah. Your love. Hey. Ooh. The percussions, man. Oh. Mm. All right, that is track number nine, Virgo's Groove. What do you think about that one, Dad? I like those high runs. She was like, yeah. And then percussions, that bass line, that, oh, man, that vibe, the whole song. And there was so many layers to it. She sped it up, and then she slowed it down a little, just a little bit, and then brought it, brought you back into the song. It was just like back and forth, back and forth. And, man, her, her voice, man, she just really sung on this song really well. Yeah. Man. It's good. She absolutely killed it on this song. I can't She's even, exhausting, man. I can't even, like, <laughs> pinpoint what I like the most about this song. Everything, the instrumental, her vocals, her harmonies, the lyrics, the energy, man. All I can say is, like, boy, you better be doing your push-ups, drinking yeah. some energy drinks. And <laughs> what the hell ever? Look, look right. Jay Z's like what, ten years, 11, 12 years older than her? Yeah, that's all like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, you get gotta you get them a, honey packs. <laughs> you get your ass a special trainer just for her. <laughs> Keep up with her. For sure. So, yeah. nah, that was a beggar. That was six minutes. It's long and it did not even feel like it. That no. was just such a vibe. I love that. Uh, the the dreams got a lot of production credit on here, and um, he's a, such a talented artist. We got to definitely get into some of the dreams discography. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and move into the next track, and this one is titled "Move." This is featuring Tim's and Grace Jones. Hmm. And this is produced by Beyonce, Jones. P2J, Guilty Beats, The Dream, Stuart White, and Mellow X. All right. This is going to be interesting if it's the same Grace Jones I'm thinking it is. The Grace Jones. Yeah, I think there's only one. I don't know. One Grace Jones. Yeah, I think yeah, it's her. Grace Jones, yeah, yeah. All right, here's track 10, Move. Yeah. 
All right, that is track number 10, Move, featuring Grace Jones and Tim's. What did you think about that one, Dad? I enjoyed that, man. Um, the vibe was real good. I liked the beat. I mean, it was just like, uh, it, it was just really, it was different from the rest of the songs on here. I mean, it kind of similar to the one other song, though. Yeah, kinda yeah, Kind of like it had that kind of uh, African, mm -hmm. kind of Afrocentric kind of beat. I, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, Tim's, this guy, Tim's. Uh, girl. Tim's. It's a girl. It's a girl? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never know. <laughs> I'm just seeing the name. But Tim's, I mean, shh. I like, I like, I, you know, it was a nice touch. Grace Jones was a good touch. Yeah. It was um, just out of the blue, seems like, you know, where you get this Tim's person and um, Grace Jones. Yeah. Which is a, you know, person that, you know, she's pretty much, you never heard much from her. And now all of a sudden she pulls Grace Jones onto her album. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. Um, again, another good production, another good vibe song, you know, what'd you yeah. think about it? Did you like it? Uh, at first I didn't think I was going to like it, but then like once it got to the, the Tim's part and, uh, and then it went into Beyonce's verse after that, I don't know. It kind of picked up to me. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. It wasn't my favorite, favorite one on this album, but I like that bridge right there. Yeah. I like this part when mm -hmm. she came in with the find me. I, I don't need to call him. Yeah, I like the part where phone. they was talking about who's that girl in the back of the room. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that was the Tim's part. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was cool. We'll go ahead and move into the next track. This is track number eleven. It's titled "Heated," mm -mm. and this is produced by Beyonce, Seven Thomas, Nino, Jahan Sweet. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. who's Jahan? What what did Jahan Sweet produce on? He produced on something that we where he produced a lot of it. Dang, I can't remember. But okay, Jahan Sweet, Boy Wanda, uh, Cadenza, Kelman Duran, Stuart White, Harry Edwards, and Kaylee. All right. Uh, track 11, Heated. Here we That's go. That's a lot of folk. Mm-hmm. That was one of the best outros. <laughs> I mean, they just went just all out, all in on that outro, man. But I, I enjoyed it. I like the drums, man. They was they was doing so many things with the drums. And in in the beginning, they was they would be playing this driving beat, and then these drums would be playing. But then right near the to the end of the of the drum uh, uh, beat. 
they would do something like like a rapid drum beat. Like yeah. that. Did you hear it in mm-hmm. the beginning? They stopped doing it though. Yeah. But but I man, it was just little things I enjoyed about the song. You know, I I like to pick up on the little tiny little things. And there was so much going on with this song that it was just enjoyable to me. Alright, we're we'll on to the next track. This is track number 12. It's titled Thick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Produced by Beyonce, Hit Boy, Lil Jew. Hit Boy. Lil Jew made the beat and Stuart White. That's a new one out there. I, and I don't believe I've ever saw that one. Lil Jew made the beat. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one either. Okay. Ooh, yeah, we definitely uh Hit Boy. I'm gonna see Hit Boy. Yes, yeah. sir. Right. Lots of bangers. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see if he keeps it rolling. Track 12, thick. You ain't calling Hit Boy for nothing. Exactly. Uh-oh. Getting bigger, rags getting bigger, cash getting larger. He thought he was loving me good. I told him go harder. She thought she. That's that jelly, baby. Champagne and cherry, baby. That's that dick. That's that ball drop. That's that keep going. Go. That's that never stop. That's that dude. Beyonce. And it's that Fiji aqua. Candy girl pinata. Hit it in the diet, girl. You better not lose that ass. That's that, <laughs> That's that real shit. That's that jelly nigga. That's that really nigga. Really nigga? That's that dick. <laughs> That's that ball drop. That's that keep going. That's that never stop. Oh, Baby, that's that thick. Mm. That's that thick. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, that's that thick. Okay. That's a nice club vibe for sure. <laughs> Look at this shit. Mm. Oh, that's that strawberry. Let me look. That's that grape <laughs> and cherry. Oh, that's that ginseng. That bitch like culinary. <laughs> Spend my money, make it count. If it's lost, then it gets out. Just keep dropping. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's uh, track number 12, Thick. What do you think about that one, Dad? That was a very sensual song. Um, kind of gave me thoughts when I was listening to this song. Uh, I know Janet Jackson made a song. It was It was a whole album. It was just all sensuality. Yeah. And it kind of made me think of that, gave me reminiscence of that. But yeah, this is that was a really uh good song. I mean, Beyonce, man, she's she's pornographic, man. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, some of her lyrics, man, you'd be like, man, if you sit back and start imagining that shit, you'd be like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just a song. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Now, that was a good song. I I enjoyed it. Yeah, that song was fire. I love the uh Kind of another like house. It kind of had a house vibe, house dancey vibe, but it also had like this trap, mm-hmm. trap with the hi hats and yeah, that was cool, man. I, I like that that one line where she said, "That's that thick, that's that real shit, that's that jelly, nigga, that's that really nigga." <laughs> I'm not, like she's like. I said, and then I think she opened up the the, the song with that verse, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, that was like the the hook that she was saying. And now I was just like, okay. Yeah, she 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 was going crazy, and uh, yeah, that beat is fire, and I love that breakdown at the end too. Right, that breakdown was really cool. Oh, yeah, Beyonce. I need a fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Uh, the next track is track number 13. It's titled All Up In Your Mind. And this is produced by Beyonce, Ba, Blood Pop, Mike Dean, S1, Jamil AOC, and The Dream, and AJ Cook. Hmm. Track 13, All Up In Your Mind. All right. Yeah. 
Yes, I do. I think it's true. I just know I love you. That is track number 13, All Up In Your Mind. What do you think about that one? Okay. This song right here reminds me of when I used to listen to albums uh, when I was a teenager. And you get that album where, you know, you had like what most people would think was maybe on one side you had three, maybe four good songs out of maybe eight songs or six songs or whatever. And you get to that one song, you're like, I don't know if I like it that well. Mm -hmm. But then you re-listen mm -hmm. and you listen to it again. And then it starts becoming catchy, and you're like, damn, that's a good song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That was literally my exact thoughts when I was listening to it. I was like, at first I wasn't really feeling it, but then like by the third hook, mm -hmm. it's like catchy. It's, it's start catching it's, on, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, for and sure. So I was like, okay, by the time she ended this song, she sold me on the song. Yeah. Now, like, it's not my favorite yet. Right. But I mean, I can... I guarantee you, by the time I hear this song for the third or fourth time, I'm gonna like this almost as almost as good as the other songs. Yeah, I could absolutely tell that this would be like kind of a song that would grow on you as you listen to the album for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I, I that is my exact thoughts. So, and I, I love the lyrics on it. I mean, the lyrics was great. I, all her lyrics are great on these songs, and I haven't heard any bad lyrics so. Yeah, whoever be writing her music, if she's writing it or if she works with writers, man, they be nailing it every time because the yeah, lyrics I, do really just keep you so engaged. I wonder, you know what? That's a good. Um, uh, that's that, um, that's a good thought. I mean, I'm thinking to my like when you said, I mean, you don't know whether she writes those or not. I mean, I'm I would hope that she does write. A I lot. think she has probably uh, t something to do. With the writing process, for sure, she has production. written by she has production credits and writing credits on all her songs, pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, so I think she's heavily involved in her creative process. I don't think she's just showing up and they got a song for her to sing. Yeah, because I mean, these songs sound too personal. I mean, she makes them so personalized when she sings them, and mm -hmm. it, it seems like she has to have some kind of written uh, input on these songs. Yeah. But at that level, I'm sure you have some masterful people. Yeah, giving that's true. You, giving you input and. And helping you get your thoughts together. So mm -hmm. they do a great job at that. Yes, sir. Uh, cool. We'll go ahead and roll into the next track. This is track number 14. And this is titled uh, America Has a Problem. All righty. And this is produced by Beyonce, The Dream, and Mike Dean. All right. Track 14, America Has a Problem. Here we go. The dramatic uh, buildups of Mike Dean. America, yeah, I love those. America has a problem. Uh oh. <laughs> See? That's all like an old school yeah. hip hop beat. <laughs> oh! Yeah, she is. 
But it ain't crack enough. <laughs> it ain't crack enough. I'm in demand. Soon as I land, just know oh. I roll with them goons. In case you start acting familiar, yeah, yeah. this kind of love, big business, whole slab, big business. I kill for. Don't ever be gonna do what I want to. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Dog on my team. Man. He do it every time, yes, don't he? he? <laughs> oh right, that is track number fourteen. America has a problem. What do you think about that one? Dad? First thing, Mike Dean at the end, you go, eh, and then all of a sudden you hear something go. Doop, doop, doop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> I was like, okay, no, okay, that was tough. Yeah, that was tight, man. Another vibey song, man. That was cold blooded, though, man. She talking. When you wait till I pull out my jeans and back it up, back it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Motorboat. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> when I pull up these jeans, you are mine. Yeah, when it's I step over. On it's the scene. Oh, I love this line. Your ex dope. Your ex deal is dope, but it ain't crack enough. Right. I'm supplying my man. I'm in demand. As soon as I land. Just know I roll with them goons in case you start acting familiar. Right? Uh, right? <laughs> Woo! She said big business. Big business. <laughs> yeah. She killed that. Oh, that man. was a bagger. Yeah. Track 15 is titled Pure Honey. Pure slash honey. Okay. Looks Only like natural. A, yeah. Looks like a, For the bees. All right. Facts. Actually, she do... Uh, have honey in a lot of her songs. I don't think about it. Does he? Yeah, she had that one song in the last album. I was like, honey, honey. Oh, that's right. That's right. I like that part too, man. I was like, you, yeah, honey, honey. So, yeah. Okay. All right. This is track 15, Pure Slash Honey, is produced by Beyonce, Nova Wave, Blood Pop, Mike Dean, <laughs> The Dream, Stuart White, and Raphael Sadiq. Mm. Track 15, Pure Honey. <laughs> It's pure. It should cost a billion to look this good. <laughs> Damn. She make it look easy cause she got it. Check my technique. You can find the one when the tempo good. Wanna touch my technique. Four, three, two, fucking busy. That's my technique. Uh, this looks so yummy, yummy. All the boys want my honey from me. It should cost a billion to look that good. Yeah. Okay. But she make it look easy because she got it. You can find the one when the tempo's good. Four, three boys to the floor. Uh, get your money, 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 money. <laughs> Don't be funny, my money, honey. Don't my girls look so good. What? Nasty is my guilty pleasure. Nasty girl. Nasty, nasty girl. Like rodeo, she's on top again. Yeah. Yeah. I get you stuck, stuck in my love, in my love. Yeah. Stuck in my honey. Same. Yeah. Honey, honey, Sing it. I put the sweet, sweet on your tongue. Don't entice hey. me. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That's yummy. Thick. Honey and go, honey. Put on your lips, up and down on it. Let's switch. Honey. Hey. Track 15, Pure Slash Honey. What did you think about that one, Dad? Well, you know, in the beginning, I thought to myself, I mean, you know, the song was okay, you know. Mm. And then she did that transition and switch up mm. and just took it to another level. And then I was like, oh, I enjoyed that. Yeah. I didn't really love the first half of the song either. But, yeah, that switch up once it got to the second part. When it picked up on that second part, I was like, okay, here we go. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it, sure. it, the first part was a little bit, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I definitely love the second part though. That honey part was dope. She, she killed it on that part. She did, man. Right back, right back in her bag. She goes, yeah, this is fantastic. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and roll into the last track here. This is track 16, Summer Renaissance, produced by Beyonce, Nova Wave, Mike Dean, The Dream, Levin K- Cali, and Soul Waz. All right. Uh, track 16, Summer Renaissance. Donna Summer. Sample. Oh, yeah, I do sound like that. That other song sampled that same so good from uh, that Vultures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Track 16, Summer Renaissance, Beyonce. What do you think about that one, Dad? Well, now that you said Summer's Renaissance, and then I heard that Donna Summer's um, mm. sample, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Uh, that's that's <laughs> fire. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But I, I enjoyed it, man. I, I I just enjoyed the beat. I love the rhythm. Um, it was, it, it was, that song was all of that, man. I mean, it was a good way to end the, end the album. Yeah. I thought. You know, um, she's flexing. It, it just uh, when she started talking about all these different designer things, and I thought it's so funny that you know a lot of these artists come from nothing, and they you know, and then once they get a taste of of the good life, uh, all of a sudden they know how to pronounce these things that they never <laughs> could pronounce before, or even knew what it was, yeah. <laughs> and now it just flows off the tongue. You right. know? It's like, oh my gosh, because some of those things I was like, I'm. What is that? What is that? You know? <laughs> so anyway, that's just something I thought about. Uh, totally uh, a good album, man. Um, um, I think there was probably one that was questionable. Mm. And that's just a maybe. Mm. I probably I probably would leave it off my playlist. I think I would. Mm. That's it, though. See, the last, um, Cowboy Carter, everything. It was that was just twenty seven songs. Everything stayed. Everything stays on yeah. this one. Everything but maybe one. Yeah, you probably got two. Yeah, I think I got maybe you got three. Though. I feel like I got maybe two or three. And mm-hmm. not, it's not that they're like bad. They're just not for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but there was there's a lot of songs on here that are just fan freaking tastic. See, I think um, for me it was like uh, the one that I left off. Um, I think I could easily leave it off. And then I think it, it was probably one of yours too, the same song. Mm-hmm. But then the other two, I thought to myself, um, when I listen to them again, it's going to sound probably better to it'll me. It'll grow on you. And mm-hmm. and sometimes when you're listening, listening to it loud mm-hmm. on, a, on a bigger soundstage, yeah, yeah, yeah. it sounds a lot better too. Yeah, for sure. So, 
Cool. Well, yeah, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed Renaissance. Um, I enjoyed Cowboy Carter. This is cool. We'll definitely uh, keep reacting to Beyonce albums. That was a great su- suggestion, out. right? Yeah, for sure. That was that was fire. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what we should react to next. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And if you like our videos, but you want to see the uncut, unedited versions, then check out our Patreon. The link is down below in the description. Thank you so much for your time and hanging out and watching this video with us. Drop some bees in the comments, and we'll see you next time. See you, bees. Peace. Peace.